Mark, this event is a celebration in the face of recent vandalism and graffiti at the Odyssey Youth Movement Center. Cars are honking, music is playing, and a crowd of people is growing who are making it known that not even paint can dull their shine or place in the community. The Perry District is covered in colorful support for the Odyssey Youth Movement Center. Rainbow signs and flags are reminders to people in the LGBTQ community they have a place in Spokane. Odyssey Executive Director Ian Sullivan says inclusion and community are at the heart of Thursday's pop-up Pride event. You can see the joy that's here, the representation that's here, the excitement to be part of community and a real, truly inclusive community as well. The pop-up comes after the center experienced vandalism three nights in a row. Paint was used to write hate speech on walls and cover the rainbow crosswalk. But walk through the district now and all vandalism has been scrubbed clean. Some say it's a direct sign of perseverance. Every time they want to decide to make a decision like that, we're going to make 10 times more decisions to keep showing up and let them know that we are queer, we are here, we are not going nowhere. We're staying. This is our home too. Before the pop-up, the city of Spokane organized a walk from the Perry District to the downtown Pride mural. That mural was also vandalized in the last week. Our hearts are hurting. So we want to walk it out. City officials say the walk shows hate doesn't have a place in Spokane. A message people in the LGBTQ community hope their young people know and hear. We need to let them know they need to feel in this community that they are loved, they are welcomed, and they are part of Spokane. And as much as this is a fun event, it's also an opportunity to show that Odyssey is and will be an available resource in the community. So in addition to fun and flags, people are also picking up information on what Odyssey has to offer in the community. Live from the Perry District, Janelle Fitch, Crem 2 News.